good welcome to my channel uh, last part we saw how to draw a rectangle to our canvas now let us see how to uh, try different experiments with different properties of that um, object or rectangle and uh, how to uh, try different methods to that object so, So uh, this is where we were actually we draw, uh, draw a, a rectangle uh, object. So let us try with different properties and methods now. Okay, uh, this is where we were. We created the, the last part. We created a canvas and uh, one click of button. Uh, the angle is setting for that rectangle, right? And the rectangle uh, we initiate. Add our canvas and we created a rectangle object and once we done that we um, add that uh, rectangle to our canvas right and after that on click of that button that rectangle uh, angle set and uh, render all to re-render the uh, stuff right so here uh, we are so let us uh, try to make a uh, few changes to the uh, rectangle properties first let me try with um, first um, uh, something like uh, opacity opacity how i can change let me see 0.5 then let me see what it shows opacity yep the opacity got changed here right and next let me try with another property called selectable take good property in fact if i give uh, false to this selectable a property uh, I will not be able to uh, change this object anymore see earlier I was able to move I, I was able to drag everything was possible now it's not possible right so that is another good property we have opacity selectable those are the main uh, stuff and um, okay uh, come down coming down let me make a, a little bit change over here uh, let me try with uh, different methods basically uh, what I'm told I can do uh, like let me remove this stuff ankle stuff and uh, let me try to console dot uh, let me try with one alert first okay um, this rectangle let me uh, try to get a method for this object rectangle dot get uh, scaled height get scale height so it is supposed to uh, return back with um, uh, return back with the height of the object height with our object uh, then alert uh, alert the uh, width property width method yes uh, let me try with um, uh, get scaled um, get scaled scaled width okay so it is supposed to return back with the width right and the same way let me try to alert with um, in, in, instead of that alert let me try to use console.log of what uh, let me try to get the opacity uh, get up get object opacity okay uh, rectangle dot the same thing I can try so uh, I can debug right when it is required get object opacity opacity right so obviously uh, on clicking of this button on clicking of two alerts I have to get that is the height and width scaled height and width and um, console.log it will show what opacity uh, opacity it will let me give a comment like opacity opacity okay so uh, this is something like uh, simply a height alert will come and um, width alert will come right width alert will come width alert also come yeah let us try now don't click off that button okay now clicking off that button yes i get the height as 101 scaled height and scale width 201 then the other one i am supposed to get in console right console i am supposed to get the opacity see 
opacity 0.5 that we can use for further debugging stuff. Now we learned a few stuff how to change different how to play with the different properties of our rectangle object and how to use different methods also uh, here right. Hope you enjoyed video like subscribe and press bell icon for notification and um, we will see uh, in uh, and put your uh, valuable comment as well. Uh, we will see in next video. Thank you.